This video is brought to you by Fighting Putt, the six button controller. Hi guys, and welcome back to the game room. Today we're going to take a look at one of my rarest games in my collection, Cooler World. We're going to do some gameplay and uh, talk a little bit about this game. Ah yes, Cooler World. I remember this. I remember it being on a demo disc, and I remember thinking when I looked at it and saw it that it kind of reminded me of a Net Rose game. For any of you guys that don't know what NetEurose is, it was a development system that Sony released that um, any pretty much home person, home user if you like, could get. Um, you could rig it up to your PC, there was some software that you could use to actually create some games. And this, because the quality of the game kind of reminded me of that, and then some time later on I realised that actually it wasn't one of those NetEurose games, and it was actually a real game. So as you can see here, I'm playing it on this beach ball that's kind of rolling around platforms and around bits of the level, collecting these uh, coins and this fruit. And the goal is to collect keys that are in the level, and then you can go to the exit. As you can see here, I'm trying to collect all the uh, coins for extra brownie points. <laughs> and you'll see you're going to get some more obstacles as the level levels go on. You can see some spikes here that obviously, as a beach ball versus some spikes, it's going to burst it. There's a key and a coin again. I like this game. I think this game's pretty cool. It didn't sell so well, so it is quite a rare game on the Sony PlayStation, but it's worth checking out. So if you've got some way of either picking this up, which is going to cost you a bit, um, or, you know, emulators, <coughs> I didn't say that, <laughs> then I strongly recommend giving this a go because it's quite a cool game. It's quite fun. As you can see here, the levels get more and more challenging because the objects are placed on different faces and different areas. And now you've got these uh, these like crystals or jewels that you can collect as well. On this level, I think I do try and carry on to collect more of the items. In fact, there's a bonus stage I think I'm going to go to because I've just collected um, five pieces of fruit. This game's encouraging you to have your five a day. And this really awesome trippy kind of uh, bonus level that where the ob object is obviously to collect coins. And you can see that the... Uh, Grab the actual platforms changing colour as I roll over it, which I think is awesome. This game is really good fun, as I said, it's very basic, but sometimes that's not a bad thing with video games. And you can see my scores racking up, and it, at, at that particular point in the game, you can actually save it, which is what I'm doing here. And then it's back onto the gameplay again. So, as you can see, the levels are getting more and more complex and more and more difficult. Uh, this level here, you've got to jump down from one platform to another. And as you can see, I've made an error because I've actually collected a timer. And as you can see, I've only got five seconds left to complete the level. I've got a key to collect. I'm about to run out of time. Oh, shit. <laughs> I ran out of time, so I'm losing points for that, for failing that level. So, back to it again. I'm going to have to remember not to collect that timer again because it's crazy. It tips it over and then you get... You know, I think it was something like 10 seconds or 15 seconds to complete the level. You can see this time I'm blatantly ignoring it, going straight past it, because I'm not really interested in making the same mistake twice. And whoa! That's what happens if you get the jump wrong, and I'm going to get more penalty points <laughs> for jumping through the gap and uh, kind of um, falling through the hole and not landing on the platform underneath. As I say, this does get harder and harder, and later on those uh, those jumps get even more tricky. So, collecting more coins. I've still got to get two keys, because in the bottom left corner of the screen you can see the two keys are greyed out. I'm just trying to cycle around the level so I can get a view of where everything is. I'm trying to go over an edge here, which you can't do on that particular piece of platform. And again, there's the timer. I don't want to collect that. I'm taking quite a while here. There's the face where I can go up to and change direction, the face of the platform. And I'm still trying to search for a way to get the key. Now I've just seen it, so I can go on that face to get the second key. And now I can go to the exit, which lights up with a green X. So onto this level here, and uh, as you can see, it's getting more and more tricky, more and more complex. I had to do something of a leap of faith then to sort of jump over that platform to get onto the next bit. Jump in to collect the uh, jewel there, missing the timer because I'm learnt from my previous mistake of getting that timer and running out of time in the level and now I've collected both the keys so I can make the mad dash to try and get to the finish but for the extra brownie points, extra bonus points I'm collecting the coins and the fruit as you can see jumping over the spikes and just trying to work my way to the exit by going along the uh, 
going along the faces here. So I've just realised where the exit is and how I'm going to get there. But as you can see, I'm going to have to backtrack to here where I can change direction to actually get there. So I've done that now. And exit of the level. On to the next one. And it's another bonus stage. This looks pretty cool. It looks a bit like a giant marble when I'm going through the level, jumping from, or trying to jump from platform to platform. I've got the key so I can go to the exit. But to really complete the level properly, as you can see, I'm bouncing on top of all the platforms and collecting all the coins that are scattered in the level. And then hopping my way all the way over to the finish. That was a pretty cool little bonus stage there. Points are now topping up. And then another level. So, as you can see again, it's getting more and more sophisticated. The level design is getting tougher. This is what makes it fun because you've got to try and figure out how you're going to change direction, how you're going to get onto different parts of the platforms, different bits of the level. So as you can see, I've collected both the keys already. So now I'm going for a jewel and looking around to see if I can collect any of the other pieces in the level. Coins, fruit, etc. And off I go to the exit, or kind of, I've gone underneath the exit because you have to do a bit of a jump here. And there you go. That's another level completed. This one is interesting. So I've got to jump over the timer. I've got to find a way. Oh, there you go. That's what happens if you land on the spikes. So this one is very, very tricky. I've got to find a way of getting from this level to the level below me. And this is what I was having difficulty figuring out. So in a minute, I'm going to do something a bit silly and jump straight through the middle, which is going to take me straight down. There, I've jumped off an edge and just hoped for the best. I've done a leap of faith and it's backfired heavily on me. So we're having another attempt at this one. This level, I think, actually does get the better of me. And in the end, I kind of stopped playing. I'm going to have to go back to this. And there you go. There was my attempt jumping straight through the middle, which was a bit stupid. A bit silly of me to do that. And then eventually I realised there's a slight part of the platform underneath that overlaps. And if you get the jump right, and again, look, I've been spiked. I've jumped on the spikes. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a piece of platform that overlaps underneath. And if you jump at the right place, you'll actually land on it and you can continue on. I've collected the timer. So I decided to just go into the spikes because it was a bit stupid of me to collect the timer. I know what that does by now. And I've done another leap of faith and I've fallen off. You can see my overall score is dropping because I'm losing points every time I fail to complete the level. Collecting the coins again, jumping over or trying to avoid that timer. So I've decided to change direction completely. Realized that I can't jump over those two spikes. And there you go. That's how you get to the lower platform. So from here, I've then got to figure out how to get the key which is there and then how to get to the exit and there it is there's the exit so that level was a bit more trickier and then this one blimey it's on three tiers and is that a pill that i can see in the middle of the level look at that Some nice hard drugs here look at that <laughs> the effect that it's had on the level it's gone all trippy and then I've jumped over and landed on a platform underneath. And it's going to go trippy again as I collect the second key. Look at that. That's awesome. It's a bit off-putting as well, I've got to be honest. And then it goes again. Look at that. <laughs> I think this level does completely beat me as I jump, hit the platform or the side of the platform and fall straight down. So you can see this one's got three layers there. I don't know what I was doing. I jumped straight through the middle and just fell down. Wow, how ridiculous. So this time I think, try not to get the pill. <laughs> try and just go around the level without it. As you can see, I actually jump over it and deliberately avoid it. And at this point, I'm just trying to find the exit. And the exit is actually on the face underneath that platform. Can you see it there? And that's why I'm trying to jump back on there and I die. And this level basically gets the better of me. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this gameplay of Cooler World, the rarest game in my collection.